you dare show your face? What is my stuff doing out here? I'll prorate the utilities from the time of eviction. 3.47 p.m. the third day of February. Eviction? Paris, why are you doing this? Don't you play dumb with me. Unchain the door. This chain is here for your protection. Krav Maga, baby. When my enemies approach, I'm trained to pounce. It's reflex. Paris, I'm not your enemy. Oh, really? Enemies move in silence and strike when their prey is weakest. Pretty much sums you up, doesn't it, Editor Gilmore? That was not my doing. That was the board's. As if you didn't lobby for it. I didn't! That secret meeting weeks ago at the pub where you set the putsch in motion? What happened? There wasn't a beer hall available? I did not set the putsch in motion. I can't even spell putsch. Nice spin. Take it to K Street. I made you my number two and it went to your head. You can't just kick me out like this. There's a hallway full of crap that says otherwise. But we're friends. We're not friends. I understand why you're upset, but just let me in so I can explain. Gee, Paris, what a horrible job being editor is. Who needs the headache? Remember Chilton, Paris, all those good times? Well, the good times are over. Here, this is yours too. There are no singles left. What? What do you mean, no singles? I just talked to campus housing, and there are no singles left at Brantford or anywhere on campus. And the decent off-campus apartments are long gone. The ones left make Paris and Doyle's place look like Versailles. What are you talking about? Why do you need a place? I got elected editor of the Daily News. What? You did? Yes. Wow, finally someone good running that place. Someone great. You're going to be great. Well, Hot Plate Harriet took it very badly. Who's that? Paris. She threw all my stuff out into the hallway, so I'm sitting here guarding it all until the movers get here. Oh, man, Paris, idiot. My books look sad. Can books look sad? Look, we'll figure this out. Now, you said you got movers? Starving students. How starving can they be if they can't come for five hours after you call? Plus, I heard the guy crunching on something during our call. Sounded like baked lace. And you've got nowhere to go, right? Right, Amundo. Well, you can move in with me. What? Move in with me. Paris Place is a whole anyway. I never liked that you lived there. And that doo-wop group downstairs, I don't think they're an honest-to-goodness singing group. Logan, that's really sweet, but I can't move in with you. Why not? You're here half the time anyway. You've already got two dresser drawers you call your own, and right now, for a limited time, I'll throw in three more drawers and a set of Ginsu knives. Really? No, I have no idea where to get Ginsu knives. It's kind of a big step, isn't it? You need a place. I got the space. It'd be fun. Don't you think it'd be fun? Fun? Come on, Ace, you know what I mean. What do you say? Well, I might need just one more drawer. I can put my socks in a shoebox under the bed. Is that a yes? I guess that's a yes. Good. I'm calling Colin and Finn. They'll be right over to get your stuff. OK. And no shoeboxes. You're getting those drawers. I'll take them. Wait, wait. Hold on, I got to take this. OK, get past the hamper, veer left at the mirror, grab the large pipe on the wall to get yourself to the desk, which you can then go over or under. I'll guide you 